Hello and welcome to another episode of Getting Started with A Modular. In this episode, I want to show you a new firmware that has just been released today. And uh, this is a take on West Coast Synthesis, a new firmware from The Hague, from a very talented software developer and DJ and artist, Kassen Oud. I hope I'm speaking, I'm pronouncing this the right way. Um, he just um, sent me that uh, firmware and it is now on GitHub. So in, uh, you can install this in your Grains module. Um, if you have the new module with the switch, then put the switch on G. Or if you have the old version without a switch, it will just work. This is a uh, oscillator that is obviously completely digital because it is uh, programmed in C++. And it is a uh, West Coast style oscillator in that it has oh, um, a wave folder and a distortion unit, which you can um, change via the knobs or via CV. And I will show you now how that works. If you don't know how to install firmware on your Grains module, I am linking to one of my older videos in the description below, where I'm explaining that in, um, det in great detail of how to uh, set up your PC or Mac in order to uh, download the firmware and to get this on your module. So I won't repeat that now. So what you can see um, here on the oscilloscope on the side is uh, the waveform of this oscillator. And I just kind of choose one that um, is a little bit more, more visible. So I have connected uh, an oscilloscope to this so we can see the effect that some of those um, uh, 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 controls has on the waveform as we hear it as well. So let's listen to the waveform without the sequencer. So here it is, um, just a normal pitch sound. I'm using a keyboard to change the pitch here. And the pitch here is coming into um, into input number three. So you think pitch would be on number one, but in this case, it is actually coming from the bus CV via MIDI into the input number three. But you can also change the pitch with this knob P3 as well. So if I turn this, the pitch will go up. which is the same behavior that you would have on the uh, other oscillators in the A modular system. So what do these other knobs do? So the second knob, P2, is a wave folder. So let's look at the effect of this a little bit on the oscilloscope. I'm turning the knob to the right. So you can see and hear that this is a um, wave folder type effect. And the um, uh, third knob, or P1 in this case, is a gain which is very quickly going into a distortion. So let's have a listen and look at what this does. So very similar to the wave folder module that we have, it's just that 
using this firmware you have a digital oscillator or a wave folder with the distortion all in one module which is really cool. So let's uh, put a little bit of wave folding on and then some distortion on that and you have a really fat sound. Amazing what uh, massive sounds you can get out of this tiny, tiny little computer that is in the Grains module. So, in this patch, let me just zoom out a little. In this patch, I have set up the uh, Grains to go into a VCA and the VCA to be controlled by an envelope here, which gets the gate from the MIDI and the output of the VCA then goes into a mixer here at the top, which you can't see. And uh, that way I can run a little sequence on it if I just turn out the constant sound. The oscilloscope actually gets a, another, uh, gets a clean, clear signal from the oscillator, which is not um, showing the sequence that I'm playing now. So let's dial in a few notes in the arpeggiator here. So I'm running the arpeggiator from my Arturia keystep and uh, the envelope here is on fast, on gate with a very uh, short attack and I can play with the decay. So now the beauty is that I can now change the sounds to be massive. Now what you can also do is, you can also, you can also use a, an LFO to change the two parameters um, automatically. So let's change the wave folder by putting an LFO onto, onto input number two. And remember with the grains module, if you want to have uh, a CV control, you have to switch it from manual to in. And I'm just choosing an LFO here at the top, just this one. So this is a fairly slow moving LFO and it should change the, you can see here now, uh, it's not changing at all at the moment. But because when you put in the CV into the in one and you switch that to in, then the knob becomes a depth control kind of like on the filters. So I actually have to turn this on. So let's listen to it again. I actually have to turn this knob to get the depth of the LFO to switch on the wave folding. So now you can see that the LFO is affecting the wave folding because I'm turning this knob as well. And the more I turn it, the more, the more pronounced the effect will be. So 
Well, let's try the same thing with the um, uh, distortion. So I'm using the same LFO here and put it onto the distortion and change that to input. And then I turn this on. So now I'm using uh, two LFOs by putting another LFO into the input 2, changing that to in, and then choosing uh, another LFO that I have here. And um, then we have uh, both under control from an LFO. So let's have a listen to that. Now, now, by just um, changing and offsetting the LFOs and making them quicker, we get rhythmic changes and some really nice sounds. So this is basically the way the Wavefolder, uh, the new Scheveningen Grains firmware works. It's a West Coast inspired oscillator with a, a built-in Wavefolder and um, gain distortion which you can use via the knobs or via CV control. And it is free. You can download it from the A Modular GitHub website. And the link will be in the description below. And yeah, if you enjoy this video or you have any comments for this firmware or a suggestion of how to improve it, please leave a comment either below my video or log on to the A Modular forum Again, the link is in the description and let us hear, let me hear your thoughts or even better, download the firmware, install it and make a patch and upload it to YouTube and show it to the world how you are using this module. Thank you very much for watching and as always, happy patching.